In this video, we're going to take a look at Stargus, which is a StarCraft Brood War kind of mod, if you will. It has the same sounds, effects, and gameplay like StarCraft Brood War, and it plays on the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to go and show you the website as well as some gameplay so you can have a look for yourself. I'm going to be running this on the Virtual Man version 3 image, but at the end of this video, I'll also show you how to install this and how it works on RetroPie, so you can add it to any image that you like. It does require a mouse and keyboard, and this is my first time ever experiencing it, so these are my first reactions. Wow, this is so cool. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm using a mouse right now. It's a little slow, so... Oh, shoot, you can even change the resolution. Wow, look at that res. 800 by 600 is good though. Okay, options. Okay. You can't change the... Um... Alright, let's just try. Let's try the small divide two player game start. All right, let's build B barracks. So this is like some sort of mod for the Oh, I got a ton of money. This is some sort of mod because this is not StarCraft Brood War exactly, but still it's pretty cool. Build a refinery here. Important for duty. Just about done there too. Oh, whoops, I don't want to build three. We're building Comstat now, nice. Build some Marines. Oh, I have a Comstat now. You have one Comstat, Comstat station. Oh, you can build multiple, that's interesting. You should not be able to build multiple. And these guys are uh, having a hard time navigating. All right, do we have a marine? All right, we got some marines. Let's go out here. This is where I, uh, let's go. So in this first game, I didn't realize that you actually have to get a starport in order to get off the island here. But, uh, you know, all the mechanics are there. You know, the units do run. Something I noticed, though, is the mouse kind of glitches a lot when you use attack command. Sometimes your mouse just suddenly disappears. Um, also, I mean, this is a little glitchy. You know, if you start pounding on the keyboard and with the keys, you might get it to shut down. I actually got it to fr freeze on me. But um, as far as the music, the sound effects, the uh, you know the overall feel, it's totally there. Um, I just need to play with this a lot more, um, as well as some some games the computers don't uh, do anything. So you need to look at the uh, set the computers up to the correct AI for them to work. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Um, another beef I have with it is you can't do, um, you can't change your mouse scroll speed. You can just change the game speed. Um, so like with the mouse, you're kind of stuck at whatever preferences you have. As you can see here, this is about the amount of uh, flexibility you have. So it's it's a very limited version of StarCraft. I'd actually recommend the original. I wouldn't necessarily recommend going out and getting this. But, um, you know, for those diehards out there and you just want your Raspberry Pi to play uh, StarCraft, then this is the solution for you for the time being. 
If you want to play Warcraft 2, I recommend doing that on DOSBox um, because I've had great success with DOSBox and Warcraft 2, and I've even made a video about that in the past. So here's StarCraft. I'm going to play the second game I played on here as well if you want to see some more gameplay, but uh, there you have it. Go, go, go. I mean, this is a pretty graphically intense game running on the Pi, so that's cool. Look at that glitch right there. Oh, there it goes. We got everybody attacking it now. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> All right. All right, so it's this easy. The Strategis has its own wiki page. And on here, you can get the emulator very easily. There's some GitHubs for the actual... Um, mods that they have so they have a warcraft one mod a warcraft two mod and a starcraft uh, mod um, you get all the extraction tools there to get to them uh, how to install right here to do everything you can go ahead and get the executive files here you would need to go ahead and get those here you have you have two different versions 4.0 and 4.1 and then you do need to get a starcraft install.exe from the original cd you can get those on ebay or download them or something else um, once you have the install.exe, you rename it starcraft.mpq, startup stargus, and select our starcraft.mpq, and it will begin extracting the assets needed to run Stratagus. They will be extracted to this folder here. It should be about 500 megabytes or so, and then copy it into your ROMs directory on your Raspberry Pi. Restart, and then you should have it all set up. I mean, it's going to be that easy for you. So StarCraft was one of the best games I ever played growing up. It's one of my favorite RTSs out there. So to see that it ran on the Raspberry Pi was really cool. But as you saw, it's not the full game. You're probably better off playing on a PC. But if you do want to get it on your RetroPie, that's how you do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.